race family guys i hope you guys are all doing amazing welcome back to another video this here is going to be week three of our jeep cj5 right our 1977 cj5 drag project so if you guys are new to the channel i've had this jeep now for just a few weeks i've wanted to build something like this for a long time lucky for me as i was searching craigslist just in my local town i was searching for uh cj5 drag jeep i was keen in all sorts of stuff to look for a Jeep that I can turn into this exact setup. Big tire in the back, little tire in the front, hot rod exhaust going out the side. And I was fortunate enough to find something that already looks the part, is just lacking the horsepower. And that's where I, that's the part that I love to modify. Not so much the body work and everything else, that stuff I could do without, but getting horsepower and making power and racing and drag racing, that's what I love to do. So that's the part that's missing with this Jeep. If you guys are new to the channel, to get you guys up to speed, we took the Jeep to, and don't mind the garbage truck guys and all the background noise, to get you guys up to speed, we took the Jeep, as soon as I got it, I took it to the scales. I was very curious to know what it'll weigh, and the thing was 2,525 pounds. It was extremely light, the lightest race car I've ever had, 2,500 pounds. Next, we took it to the dyno. It made 222 horsepower, possibly the weakest car I've ever owned, the weakest drag car I've ever owned. So 222 horsepower, that's with the small block Chevy 350, and also very, very poor, carburetor tuning the thing was a was a mess when we got it um i wanted to take it to the drag strip as is just how we bought it and we did that we went to the drag strip when i say that this is our week three on that first week that we went to the drag strip it ran a 14.4 followed by a 14.1 although it's extremely slow it's better than i thought it would do so i went a 14.1 at 93 miles an hour that was on a Friday. On Saturday, we went straight to back to a dyno. We didn't quite get it on the dyno, but we met up with Ed Mack, a carburetor specialist, 50 plus years of carburetor tuning experience. This guy's in his maybe 70s, like low 70s. He's a genius when it comes to carburetors. We told him the, the stuff that was done to the car. He looked at the dyno graph from when we had it on the dyno, and he completely rebuilt the carburetor. Every gasket, every jet, everything in there. I couldn't name them all because I'm not too familiar with carburetors, but. He rebuilt the whole thing, gave it back to us. We took it back to the track, and I was hoping for 13s, guys. The second we did that 14 second pass, I initially set out a goal to try to shave a second a week for the next, say, with a total of five weeks. I wanted to get the Jeep down to the 10s. So we went 14s week one. I wanted to run 13s, 12s, 11s, and eventually hit 10s five weeks in a row. It wasn't gonna be easy because it was such a short period of time, but that's what we set out to do. After that first Friday, on Saturday, we met up with Ed Mack and tuned the carburetor. We went straight back to the track the following Friday. The Jeep shocked us all. It went a 1280, followed up by a 1290. It went a 128. I couldn't believe it. It picked up 10 miles an hour, went 103 miles an hour. So with that being said, we pretty much already skipped the week. So now we're on a fast pace. We got to get to the 11s in a hurry. And I can't do that without the help of Nitrous Express, guys. Nitrous Express has been a huge partner with us on our super project if you guys are brand new to the channel baltic super racing is the name of the channel baltic supra is the car that i've owned for 10 years and i've slowly been modifying that car it took me quite some time to get it as fast as it is now that car runs a 750 at 187 miles an hour pretty much um and nitrous express has been on board with that project from day one man when i first wanted to touch nines it had a large turbo that was very laggy off the start and nitrous express jumped on board right away with their help we touched the, uh, a, my first nine second pass ever with again with nitrous express on board we went to, to eights eventually sevens that super freaking flies that car will be back on the channel very shortly i've been working hard on it and a lot of update videos will be dropping on that any minute but let's focus on the jeep for today guys Check out what we have behind us. Race family. I should have done the proper unboxing with you guys, but I couldn't resist. I got this package in the mail yesterday and I immediately started opening and started assembling the brackets. Guys, Nitrous Express. Nitrous Express sent us not one, but two, not 10 pound bottles, but 15 pound bottles. Guys, check this out. <laughs> this is gonna look incredible mounted behind the Jeep. This is what we're, this is what I'm envisioning. A set up something like this. So imagine two of these bad boys set up back here. Guys, Nitrous Express continues to impress me, man. They're, they're quality in products, right? This is their, their latest bottle design with the Lightning 500. These bottles are freaking awesome. The uh, Check out this billet bracket for the bottles. 
everything is just beautiful, man. The craftsmanship, the quality. Uh, it's all O-ringed inside just for a smooth, tight uh, fit on the bottle. We have two of these brackets. We have a full nitrous plate, nitrous kit. We're gonna be mounting this uh, on the car today. Guys, the thicker nitrous lines, I don't quite know the measurement of this, but these aren't the ones that I have in my Super. My Super's got the smaller lines that I think are good for like a 150 shot, maybe a little more. These lines are good for like 300 shot or something crazy. Um, I saw the jets in here earlier. So this is gonna be a, a wet nitrous kit designed for a carburetor setup. Well, I got some other parts there in the front. I'll run and get them now. But it's got the nitrous plate. These are the solenoids, the fuel solenoid, the nitrous solenoid. Guys, this kit is incredible. Of course, we have to get the nitrous purge, make some noise at the racetrack, clear out the lines before we run it. Um, you got the bottle gauges. We got the other billet bracket. All right, guys, I wanted to show you the beautiful, state-of-the-art nitrous plate that we're gonna use for the carburetor. This thing is gorgeous. It's the first time I have a nitrous plate like this in my hands. Um, for the Super, we have very basic, just dry nitrous kit that we use to spool up the turbo. This is gonna be a wet nitrous kit, my first time ever with a wet nitrous system. But you can see all the fine little holes right there and all the interior, all the interior of this plate. Look at that, that's awesome. We got the, let me see, this is fuel on this side. And we have nitrous on this side. It's got this beautiful piece here as well to hold the solenoids. So I say we mount that first. We'll, we'll get started in the front first. We'll get that all mounted. I'll run all the hard lines today. Um, this here is to mount the, the bottle brackets on the row cage pipes. However, these little billet pieces here, I guess are designed for the standard chrome molly size drag racing cage. Given that this is just a factory cage from the Jeep, this is significantly larger. So we're gonna have to, you know, just either like pour it out or hone out these holes here to a larger size so it can fit a little nicer. So I'll work on that tomorrow. We're actually gonna visit ATF Speed, the guys who help us with their transmissions. They have plenty of badass machines there and badass equipment that can help me grow this really quick. So we'll do that with them tomorrow. We'll mount the bottles tomorrow. Later today, I'll take the bottles to get filled up. Um, and then tomorrow we'll do final touches on the nitrous kit. But today, we'll definitely assemble the second bracket. We'll have all the brackets. This one I just kind of put together in a hurry yesterday. Nothing's tightened down, but let's make sure to secure everything, tighten all that down, build this bracket, run the main nitrous lines, mount the solenoids, and get this nitrous plate installed in the front of the carburetor. Let's work on that now. guys we got the nitrous bottles mounted check out how this looks from the rear looks far more epic than I ever imagined it we got the huge tires in the back man the fitment is incredible these bracket pieces I can't speak enough about these things um, this one's not fully secure yet but they're rock solid to the cage of the Jeep freaking awesome and all rubber insulated in the inside of here rubber insulated here around the uh, collar of the bottle. 
incredible incredible piece we got to get to the track tomorrow tomorrow's friday dino tomorrow track tomorrow so let's keep on working